Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. This is Savage Saturday number 15 with me, Derek Wyda, and Owen Lowerman. Good evening, Owen. Good evening. <laughs> I had to do it. Um, uh, I've been listening to a lot of Jocko podcasts lately, yep. and I think they must be on number. They must be on episode like two twenty five or 200, 230 episodes. And their intro is always the same, and it is so much cooler than ours. Because I'm just always like, <laughs> "Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Savage Saturdays here on the Drinking Bros Podcast. I'm your host, Derek Whitea. Joining me, as always, it's Owen, the man in the Bass Pro Shops hat." Green yeah. today, yeah, green, yeah. So yeah, you have you have you have two styles of hats. You that's have it. the Bass Pro Shops hat, that's right, or you have Dunder Mifflin, that's the it. office type things. Yeah, two mm-hmm. dimensional. Yeah, but um, dude, I uh, I I I fucking love Jocko podcast and his intro. And the, dude, I I didn't start listening to podcasts until about two months ago when we st- I started listening to the podcast because we started this podcast, right. I had never listened to a podcast before in my life. I'm not the type of person that, or I just didn't listen to podcasts. I would right. either listen to music when I was at home doing chores, and I and I don't have a commute to work or something mm-hmm. like that, you know. But I started listening to podcasts because, uh, as like research, it's like what is a good podcast? Right. I want because we're doing this podcast. I wanted to do good at it. How do people it was, structure? It was sort of my, and, yeah, my, yeah, you know. Um, uh, and, and so I started dabbling around in some of the more popular, I was taking suggestions from friends. I was like, yeah. what's your favorite podcast? And I'd listen to some and like, they didn't, they didn't stick. I didn't, I didn't enjoy them. I wasn't like fucking captivated and drawn in and I certainly wasn't going back, you know, right. but Jocko podcast and, I, and I'm a super late, so I'm a late podcast adopter and I'm a late Jocko adopter. And I think this is maybe like the seventh time I've talked about them. I think I'm getting a crush. <laughs> I've been, and I even started buying products from his website. Fanboy. Yeah, big time. Dude, nice. just like, yo, uh, yeah, sure, I, I got a couple that. shirts and stickers nice. coming on the way. But um, I, I would say in the last two months, I've probably listened to like 25 of his episodes and I just fucking love them. And if you guys have never listened to Jocko podcast before, like it's not only entertaining and captivating, but it, I think it's helped me personally. And I've, and I've probably said it here on the podcast before. I'm not a person that draws motivation and inspiration and things like that from external forces. I've always been very self motivated and things like that. But uh, dude, sometimes like having, having a, like I don't mentor is a strong word, but someone to look up to someone to someone that you respect yeah. or just to listen to someone talk that you respect. And it's like, I don't want to be that person, but I could, I could be a little bit, I could, you know, I, I know could, what you're talking about. I could live with these kind of values a little bit better. I could do a little bit better. Right. And he's, and Jocko's big on that. And actually, um, but it, like some of my favorite episodes of him is where he interviews, uh, prior service members, yeah. guys with cool ass war stories. Right fuck dude there's some he's got like, great guests yeah oh yeah so like i just like right now i'm about halfway through i'm on episode 193 and i just sort of scan around i don't i'm not i don't listen in order so i i i'm on episode uh jocko podcast 193 where he's interviewing this guy kirby uh i think i think it's harrell okay um but anyway he was a a, a navy seal in vietnam and I fucking like, he's got a bunch of cool stories, but there's, there was a story. I was just doing the dishes yesterday and actually you were here. Yeah, and I, I just, listening. I started laughing cause like these, these guys, these are hard motherfuckers, this right? guy. So like he was telling a story, um, and, 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 and I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna share this, but definitely check out this podcast, Jocko podcast number 193. Um, it, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's one of the good ones. They're all good, but I mean, right. start here. Or anywhere, I don't care. But anyway, so, um, you know, he was telling a story like, so they're in Vietnam and they're on like an eight man squad and they're out in the bush. Okay. They call it the bush. I'm not, I wasn't there, so I can't, you know, right. it's not like the cool lingo, but it's like, I like how they say that. I was like, <laughs> I was in the bush. I don't get to say that, you know, like I was, I was like, I was in Iraq. I was in the right. streets. In the I was in the streets. Yeah. I've never said sandbox, Neither but it was I. like, I was in the streets, but they're like, so we were out in the bush. I was like, fuck. I'm already fucking half hard, right. you know, like get me there. And then what? Get, yeah. Get me there. And then <laughs> yeah. What happened? Yeah. And then, um, but he was talking, so like these guys, they'll be out, you know, and, and they're doing like reconnaissance missions or something like that. But like quite often they didn't want to be seen or detected by the enemy. And like right. sometimes the enemy would be like 10 meters away from them. 
and they could easily fucking start pulling the trigger, but that would just tell the bigger units where yep. they are and things like that, and then they got to leave. So these guys would just sit and watch. They'd wait for the enemy to pass and stuff like that. And this guy was telling a story about how this dude came so close that he like he fucking hit the barrel of his gun. And like here's here's the fucking here's the one liner that got me that he the uh, Kirby says his eyes got real wide. But they didn't stay wide for long, <laughs> you know. <laughs> he says, it's like, you know, he's like, he's like, I just killed that motherfucker. And they just they say it so without without remorse or shame or anything like that, you know. Yeah. It's just it's just hard motherfuckers, it's and business. I love that kind of shit. And actually, yeah. in the episode, um, Jocko uh, asked him, you know, what it, how it was like coming back from Vietnam for him, like, you know, and and he said he's like, ah, we didn't. We didn't care. We were too busy to give a shit yeah. about what was going on back home with all the protests and things like that. So right. just like really fucking um, his like not, 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 not just Jocko, but his guests, they, they inspire me yeah. and they remind me of they were more, more, more than anything. They remind me of who I was when I was in the army and the mm -hmm. values that the army had taught me. And I lived by those values. And I, it's not that I've lost my way. I, I'm not a bad person now. Right. But I feel really in touch with myself when it was in your face every single day in the army. Yeah, and then when you're not in the army, it's yeah. maybe not. In and when your it face when every and when day. like when it's reminded, when I remind myself daily of those values by the, you know whatever I do. But like in this case, listening to Jocko podcast, they're at the front of my brain. Yep. it's like oh shit, Derek. You know, because we tend to get emotional, yeah. especially me. I'm dramatic as fuck. Right, and, I, and I can like you know like with depression and just like blah blah blah. It's like oh no, integrity, discipline. Hard work, you right. know, fucking just fucking focus on your goals. Get shit done. Let's do this. It, it's it's helped me. So like I, I started listening to podcasts to get better at this podcast and little did, like I'm it and is, then you fell in love with podcasts. Yeah. And just uh, jo well, Jocko <laughs> podcast. I haven't I, I haven't listened to other um, th th there's just nothing else that I've um, gravitated uh, towards. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But um, yeah. So that's one of my one of my favorites. And uh uh, that was a little... Uh, little the one he had with Pat McNamara on it was fucking awesome. Pat McNamara liked my comment on Instagram. Did he? Yeah. You, fucking, I feel pretty good about that. Yeah, yeah. You shouted that out. You're like, yeah. you liked my comment. I know, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> he knows who my Instagram handle is. He probably didn't pay attention, but he liked the comment. It was a good comment. I made, him, I made him go, <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> yeah. So, um... You know, last week it's just it's just Owen and I today. Um, last week we interviewed uh, uh, our friend Brandon Allen, uh, and and we got we got through about half of his story. That was a that was a long episode, but it was it was a lot of fun. It went by fast. Yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. And we were going to um, do part two with Brandon Allen for uh, episode fifteen here, but uh, you know, uh, it's my fault. It's my fault. That he's not. Uh, we were supposed to do it yesterday, but I f totally forgot that I had a very important appointment. So we rescheduled. So episode 15 is just Owen and I. Uh, we're, we're still going to have a good show. Yep. And then we're bringing Brandon. Brandon will be here um, next week to conclude uh, uh, that interview. Yep. I had a lot of good time. We had a, I, was, I was a little bit nervous about putting out a two-hour and 42-minute show. Right. Um, but the feedback has been good. Uh, dude, we had some fun. I fucking... Um, my favorite part of that show was when Brandon was telling a story about how he got stuck in the bathroom on the airplane. Oh dude. And I when he was dying. just, he just casually like, this is like, it's so Brandon to just, you know, when he's like, Jenny was looking at me, he was like, and she says, what happened? And he's like, I got fucking stuck in the bathroom, Jenny, <laughs> you know, like just matter of fact, straight to the point, you know? Yeah. Um, oh. so Brandon will be back with us next week. Nice. Um, Owen and I here today and, uh, but we got a good show, um, uh, a topic that I want to talk about that is just, I think it's like the most common the most you get a lot of you, questions. You can't about talk it. about it enough, right? And you, I just if if yeah, we've so we've touched on it before, yeah, but mm -hmm. it's, you we'll can probably always, touch on it fucking yeah. fifty more times. Yeah, you as know, we like yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like my penis. I just can't leave it alone. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, yeah. But we, but before we get into the day's topic, uh, let's let, let, let's give a slapper. Uh, today's savage slapper. Um, actually, Brandon mentioned it last week, and uh, but he he, he I did, forget who. It yeah, was. Mm -hmm, but he didn't mention who sh who who showed him this group. The group is King Eight Ten or King Eight One Zero. Okay, I found them like I don't know. I want want to say ten years ago with this song "Kill 'Em All," which is a great song, but it is not the slapper. The slapper, the savage slapper of the week, is a song called "Fat Around the Heart" 
by King810. I say King810. Brandon said King810. I don't know. I just say King810. I think it's an area code. He's from for like Flint, yep. Michigan or something like that. Okay. But dude, it is just like super... All of uh, I, I like so much of his music and his great fucking lifting music. Let me tell you, it's aggressive ass shit. Is it? It's yeah. So um, uh, in this song, "Fat Around the Heart," um, it's one of my uh, shit. It's one of my favorite lines. Well, there's a there's a few of them. The chorus kind of goes like, "Are you scared, motherfucker? Are you scared of the dark?" Yeah. So it's like um, uh, one of the one of my favorite lines in the song is uh, one of the lyrics goes something like. God cannot save you. He's way up in the sky. I'm right here leaning over your body. So when I say you die, you die. <laughs> yeah, it's aggressive ass shit. But um, um, but it's it's really cool. And they're actually like really smart guys. I read an interview one yeah. time, um, because it uh, you know, so remember remember like Eminem in the late '90s when mm-hmm. people were like, "Why are you so fucking hate speech and why are you so awful?" But these people are actually really smart. They know exactly what the fuck they're doing. Right. Yeah, it's kind of like that. But um, some of my favorite songs from King Eight One Zero, the Slapper is going to be Fat Around the Heart because I think that like if you want to fucking if you are going for a big lift, a PR, or you yep. you know like a hype up song, Fat Around the Heart will get you there. Kill 'Em All is where I started with um, King Eight One Zero. But uh, uh, they got an out. I like this song, Bang Guns. Bang nice. Guns, boy. Bang, bang, guns, boy. And then, like, one of those, one of those uh, lyrics is like, you scared of gunshots, boy. Pussy boy. Like, dude, it's just fucking man <laughs> shit, you know? Um, Rolling out on patrol kind of music. Yeah, mm-hmm. But then on one of the albums, uh, uh, the album with Fat Around the Heart on it, there's these two tracks it's like anatomy one and anatomy two Mm -hmm. where it's like spoken poetry there's no music and so this dude or like dude it's just fucking aggressive and and you know when i listen to it around the house and somebody's like you know people will walk in they're like what in the fuck is this? And Derek, I'll be like, what are you doing? You don't understand. You, you know, candles lit. Yeah. And you're so, listening to yeah. this. What so the fuck? If, if you haven't, um, if you've never fucked around with King Eight One Zero before, um, you're gonna have you're gonna have a pleasant experience getting into that shit. Um, so uh, that's that's this week's Savage Slapper, Fat Around the Heart, King Eight One Zero. Let's get in today's fucking topic. It's 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 the common it's the common thing. But I, I have a couple different ways I want to tackle it um, today. It's motivation. Yep. Motivation. And, uh, and I want to talk about it today because, uh, oops, excuse me, I got, I got it. I get it every day. I get it every fucking day. And, and yesterday I got it twice. And or when I say I got it, it's just like people, people asking, but it's always the common thing. Like I don't have motivation. I don't have motivation. How do I get, Derek, I, you know, so what, what really got me is like yesterday, you know, we have the wider group. Yep. It's our Facebook group, the private Facebook group where we, um, it's, it's strictly fitness focused. Yeah. I would say, um, it's our coaching group. Um, if, if you guys want to join easy to find right there on Facebook, the wider group, actually this week, my sister, um, yeah, she it, just posted her first video. Mm-hmm, yep, she's she's taking over. We have a we have a new coach, new blood in the Whiter group. It's my sister. It's going to yep. be fucking awesome. Um, so much more information is going to be put out in the Whiter group daily. But anyways, uh, we were in there yesterday and sipping water. You know, twice, or at least twice, twice that I remember I saw. Or, so yesterday we did a meet and greet because yep. my sister, um, it was her first day there. And I just, I just kept seeing it. It's so common. Oh, so somebody wrote, prior military, this is what I do now. Okay. I want to be fit. Right. My problem is I don't have any motivation. And right. I'm so fucking, you know, I'm, or it's, it's, it's hard for me to, when I see that, I'm just like, no, you, you don't understand what it is you do have and you, and you don't understand what it is you don't have. Right. So let's just like, I, I want to talk today about the difference between motivation and discipline. And we have to start like, what is motivation? And so I, I fucking, here's a funny thing, man. For the first time in my life for this show, yep. I went on, I went on the, di- the Google dictionary. The what? The Google dictionary. Holy shit. Yeah. And I looked up the definition of motivation. What'd it say? Well, I'll tell you what, man. I could have said, you know, I, it, it took me 32 years to figure out the definition <laughs> of motivation. And it was a psychologist who fucking told me what it was. Turns out it's been right there in the dictionary the whole fucking time. This whole time. You know, I went through 32 years of my life right. thinking motivation was one thing and I was wrong. Uh-huh. And a psychologist told me, I was like, this is 
this is earth shattering. This is, this is mind boggling. This is liberating. Turns out it's been right there in the dictionary. Um, here's what motivation is as per the dictionary motivation, the reason or reasons one has for acting or behaving in a particular way, the general desire or willingness of someone to do something. And so it's right. That's it. It's right there. It is, uh, What's up? Am I too far away? You're too close. Too close. Sorry, sorry. I get I get hand and arm. So I you get excited about the dictionary. I get. Oh, I understand sorry. it. Sorry. Do I need to repeat that or do we no, blow you're out? Good. You're um, good. Owen, uh, if you guys can't, you guys can't see. <laughs> Owen gives me hand and arm signals <laughs> during the show. But I don't tell show, them what they are. But we didn't go over. <laughs> The hand and arm signals. So he just up. starts doing shit and I have no fucking idea what it means. And I'm like, Owen, this is our show. Use your words. Interrupt me. If there's something wrong with the audio, I'm too far. I'm too close. But like, that's probably like five times now you give me hand and arm signals. I'm just like, we didn't talk mean? about hand and arm signals. We do not have a hand and arm signal. SOP here on Savage Saturdays. <laughs> so, because you know, Owen is doing like this. Like, if move you guys, away from the mic. Yeah, he's just he's just doing like this. And I, this is probably American Sign Language for something. Yeah, oh, fuck actually, off. you know what? This is bitch. Is it? Yeah, this is bitch. So that's pretty close to bitch. I'm like, you calling well, me a fucking what bitch? What the fuck is this yeah. guy doing? All right, so I'll back up. Okay. From the, so from Straight. now on. This means, this means, this, this means, means yeah, distance between yeah, the mic yeah, and your move, mouth. Move, move, <laughs> just yeah, sweet. Yeah, and and throw up a number, like how many inches I should move back. Okay, so it's just this, and yeah. If oh, you guys, perfect. if you guys are just listening to audio, um, you can't uh, see what our hand and arm signal. Right, move away from the microphone, Derek. Sorry, if I got a little loud, but getting back Discipline. to the topic at an appropriate distance from the microphone. You sound great. Thank you. <laughs> i can't wait to yeah. see what my next hand and arm signal i make up is yeah mm-hmm. so uh, yeah no shit yeah so so here's here's so i, I oops uh, no i hit no, the no we're good yeah we're so, so good. now i you know i've told this story on the podcast before somewhere when i when i when i learned what motivation truly is i just because just like everybody else everybody thinks motivation is that feeling Right. Or in like in, in the military, or are you motivated? You know, so it's like, um, uh, uh, actually, two. Stories. So my, I had this the psychologist. You know, I was telling her I, was, I was just didn't feel motivated. Right. And she's like, "What do you think motivation is?" I was like, "You know, like that. You know, it's like when you want to do something." She's like, "No, motivation is nothing more than an idea of who you want to be, right? Or an idea of what you want to do. Your your motivation is the end goal, you know. And so it just, you know, and so that's right here in the definition. The reason or reasons one has for acting or behaving in a particular way. It has nothing to do with." your day-to-day feelings, it's, I want to be this, right. there's your motivation. So that, so somebody says, Hey, my name is, you know, Joe McFuck. And I used to be, I was in the army for four years, got out, went to college. I have this job. Um, uh, I, I used to be fit. I'm not fit anymore. I want to be fit. I just don't have motivation. He's, he's, he's wrong because he says, I want to be fit. Boom. There's your motivation. I want to be, uh, he has an idea of who he wants to be. Right. So he, so you can't say I want to be more fit, but I don't have motivation because when you tell me you want to do something that that's your motivation, right? It's right. Like that's what, that's what it is. That's what it is. And I think it's important to know that because if, if you got, if, 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 you got hangups. You need to know exactly what's fucking hanging you up. Right. If you're just saying, oh, I don't have motivation. Like, wow, well, you can't solve the problem because you got the fucking problem wrong. Right. You know? So it's, it's important to really know what motivation is. It is nothing more than uh, um, uh, a reason. Uh, you know, the, the defin- definition says a reason for acting or behaving in a certain way. But I like saying it as motivation is an idea of who we want to be. Or an idea of what we want to do. Yeah, because you can be you can be externally motivated to do something that you don't want to do. Right. You can yeah. have motivations pushing you to do some shit that you're like, fuck, I really don't want to do this. Yeah, and that gets that gets in a weird Yeah. And so there's and like we can you know, sometimes we set out on a goal and that's our motivation, but we learn that we don't want to be the type of person we have to be in order to accomplish that goal. Yeah. So we quit. That's okay. That's a that's a that's kind of a different 
you know, there's a ton of shit involved when we're talking about yeah. brain stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's like, you know, j- as far as for fitness sakes, like what is keeping people out of the gym? They're like, oh, I eat, I eat donuts because I don't have motivation. Right. It's like, no, mm. no, that's just not true. And it's interesting because, um, so I was thinking about it, you know, like motivation. I told the story of when I quit PRC. Right. And uh, when you quit PRC, you give, when you quit, it's called a LOM, right? A lack of motivation, right? But even they have it wrong. It's not a lack of motivation. Obviously, I wanted to be uh, Ranger qualified, right? I, I I lacked discipline, right? It should be a lack of discipline, lack of LOD, la, you know, lack of uh, you know commitment, some lack of something, but not a lack of motivation, right? You know, you know, lack right? of fucking testicles, an <laughs> LOT, lack Here's, of fortitude, yeah, lack lack of fortitude, uh, uh, a loft. <laughs> yeah, but it's not a lack of motivation. Right. It's a it's it's a lack of something else. So when you know people, it's just so common. Every every time someone tells me that they don't have motivation, I'm just like, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Every human has motivation because, or like every you know human of sound mind right. has motivation. A fucking potato has no motivation. It just wants to be a potato. Right. Doesn't want to be the best potato. Nope. It doesn't want to be better than the potato next to him. Nope. It doesn't want to be well, baked. potatoes don't own yeah, right. You know, like yeah. Bacon bits. So, and- but but humans have motivation. Just fucking and and uh uh it's maybe sometimes it's it's our motivation that contributes to our being fucking sad and self-loathing because because mm-hmm. we the motivation is there but we're not living in accordance with you know that motivation it's like hey i want to be this right but instead of doing the things that you need to do to become that you do something else instead and that's where people get unhappy or, and you're, so, or you're self-sabotaging yourself yeah, for mm-hmm. not being able to so achieve that people you have you have motivation you have motivation you have motivation just don't tell me you don't have motivation because now you know that you have motivation. So I gotta what, find it. Y- y- yeah, like, yeah or, identify or just, what just, it is. Yeah, just, or just zero it out. Like there's, yep. I got fucking fifty motivations. Dude. Right. There's fucking a hundred things I want to do. There's there's a hundred things I want to be, but I gotta pick one. Yep. Or and two or three. You know, focus my efforts mm-hmm. and make sure that I really really want to do that and that I want to be the kind of person I have to be to accomplish that. And, and, and just like pick a motivation like that. I, that's so true. Not only does everybody have motivation, we have a shit ton of motivations. Right. You just got to fucking pick one right. and, and commit to it, you know? So I don't think, I don't think a lack of motivation is the problem when people tell me, you know, I used to be fit. I want to, I want to, I want to be fit. I want to do better. I just don't have motivation. It's like, okay, let's, let's ha- tackle that question. We started. We told you what motivation is. You have motivation. So what don't you have? And there's a couple things. Uh, I think the biggest one is discipline. And it's it almost sounds like cliche to talk about discipline. Or or it's like, oh yeah, simple. I should I could just have discipline. It's like, well, I'll just do yeah, it. Yeah, but you know, um the the thing about discipline, a, a tricky thing about discipline is if you don't have it, it's difficult to admit to yourself that you don't have it. If you're, if you're not, if, if you, if you want to be fit, um, and, and you're not eating right, you're not working out, you're not, you know, drinking water, you're not sleeping, just fucking own it. Just say, I am undisciplined. I'm undisciplined. And I need like all, like it is that simple. It is. We've said it a million times. It's as easy as, doing the things you know you need to do. So like you have your motivation. We'll just like, so we'll take, we'll take this. We're working with this generic question. My name is John. I used to be in the military, um, served four years. I, I was very fit. You know, I got out, got yep. this job, had a family, had kids and I've, you know, put on 30 pounds. I want to be more fit. I lack motivation. All right. We took care of the motivation thing. He used to be fit. He was in the military. They taught him about physical fitness, right. mental toughness. Right. So he has the tools, yep. just doesn't have the discipline. People people know what they need to do. They're just not I think in most cases. Yep. Do you agree with that? Or I do. I think I think the challenge is 
especially for somebody who used to be fit, is that they remember how hard it was to get to fitness. And then when they become unfit, you're remembering like that work. And so the challenge is like, like, oh man, this is such a huge task and gearing up for taking that on. And then that's where they stutter step or, or, or don't push through and don't have the discipline to get over the, that's, you know, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. But like, (laughs) say, but you know, in my head, when you were telling me that story, I'm like, so what? Right. So right. what? Because, yeah, yeah. but, but it's it, like, whereas that's true, but like, so say, take for me, Yep. take uh, me as an example, same thing. So like, that is true, but everybody, and we said this last week with Brandon, like, it, like fucking problems are relative. Right. The details are different. Right. So everything, yeah. everything somebody else is feeling like a 45 year old woman who's 75 pounds overweight has the same exact fucking problems that I have. Right. The same problems. It's just like how, but how do you handle it? So like for me, I just started, you know, my, my big, my big, uh, my big competition this year, rush club. Yep. My one-on-one duel. Yep. With Marcus Hayward. Be awesome. Um, it was supposed to be November 21st. It got bumped up to August 29th. That bumped my training cycle start date to yesterday. Right. Welcome to training. I thought I was going to have till September 1st, dude. <laughs> I was, you know, I was just, I was like everything. I was like, oh yeah, I have a nice little nonchalant summer. Right. Just live relax. And it's like, hey, you fucking time Tra- to train up. Training train cycle, up. go. So it's like, so yeah, man. And so, you know, you say this, um, a person who, whatever, whatever these, whatever your problem is, here's, right. I have, the, here's my problems. Like training is fucking hard. And I'm, and, and it's like, fuck, I, and if, and if, and I have, you know, a real standard where if you're trying to lose 50 pounds, mm-hmm. you just, you know, you, you fix your diet, you hit your workouts, but it's not like a time standard thing. So if, if you, if, you know, if you run a mile in 12, in 10, 12, you didn't lose anything. You, that's, that's a good day, you know? But for me, if I, if I, you know, I have a workout and I didn't get under six minutes, I suck. Right. And then it's like, fuck. And so there's, I have all these challenging workouts coming ahead where I face those mental pressures. It's like, oh, this is too hard. It's like yesterday I was fucking, I felt great, dude. I was like, I was fucking laser focused. Nice. And everything felt good. Everything was moving good. And the whole time I was like, this ain't going to last. Nope. This is not going <laughs> to last. Like don't. And I was just, and I was just like, Derek, be prepared right. for tomorrow when you're fucking tanked. Yeah. Cause I, and, and, and like, I just know, I just, right. I just know. So there's that, you know, it's like, but I have my motivation. I want to fucking win. Right. I want to fucking win. And I'm not going to feel good. I am not going to feel good for what is, you know, so it's a 15 week training cycle, whatever 15 times seven is that that's how many days that I'm going to fucking physically be sore as shit. Like mm-hmm. I woke, I feel like I got hit by a truck today. Right. I just like, but I, I had to get up and work out and guess what? I was up working out at exactly when I needed to work out. Yep. And I got in and, and, and this is my rest time right now. As we're recording, this right. is my rest block because, and as soon as we're done here, hit the gym again. Yeah. Another, another workout, you yeah. know, Fuck, so what, you know, and I'm actually, I'm actually excited about the level of difficulty of this training cycle. This is my first, um, this is my first training cycle um, that I care about in almost three years. My okay. last, my last, my last, the last competition I did that I cared about was when I won this. Um, I, 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 I took on Marcus Hayward once before. It was at the uh, Veterans Day, uh, 2017, a okay. one-on-one. So what, what this competition is, guys? Since we're getting into it a little bit, yeah. Um, um, we're just going to talk about you know, relatable mental problems and, and motivation, things like that. But um, this competition, it's called, it, it, it was called Rush Club. I, they renamed it. To what? I'd fucking forget. It's got like three names. We'll figure it out. We'll call it Rush Club. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll call it my one-on-one competition with Marcus <laughs> Hayward. But I beat Marcus um, three years ago. And and the, what's cool about this this event is just one-on-one duels. Yeah. And there's weight classes for men and women. Okay. But then what's great for people like me, um, adaptive athletes, it's, it's a place where we can compete on a level playing field. So I only compete against other above-knee amputees. Nice. They didn't know. I did this. I did this event in... Uh, February of 2016, but okay. they put me up against a below knee amputee. Right. I was like, you guys don't understand how different this is. The same. And he lit- he didn't take his leg off one time, but I had to take my leg off for different movements and things like that. And then when, when they saw that, they were like, oh, 
this is a lot different. So anyways, it's a place where um, people like me, so they have above knee divisions, they have below knee divisions, they have wheelchair divisions, um, <laughs> just all sorts of shit, you know, people missing hands. Um, okay. below the elbow, above the elbow, things like that. Wow. It's fucking awesome. So it's, it's, yeah. it's, this is my Super Bowl. This yeah. is my, this is my, um, CrossFit games. Right. And, and, and right now I hold the belt above knee champion. And it's a literal belt. It's I've a, seen it's, it. It's, is that yeah. Apollo? CrossFit Apollo. Doors are locked there right, right now, but well, maybe not for much longer. After much longer. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that was the last, um, training cycle that I've done where I, where I cared, yeah, you're you know, I've had a couple powerlifting preps and things like that, but that's just been for fun. Yep. There's not too much pressure. Of course, there's the pressure of, I want to do well. You're defending do a my title. Best. This yeah. Time. But now, but then not, it's like my, yeah, it's, it's a championship fucking mm-hmm. thing. You're like, your, your name is on the line. Everybody's looking at you. And, and those are the external pressures. The internal pressure is I want to be a fucking winner. Right. I want to be a champion. I right. want to, I want to work. I want to know that I can work that hard, that I can outwork my competition, any competition, not just this one guy, right? Everybody, you know? Yep. Um, so, uh, that's, 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 uh, that's, that's what's on the line. That's what this competition is. It's August 29th. And so this is my first training cycle in three years. Well, there's a lot of new things in my life. <laughs> yeah. Couple, I can think of off the top of my head. Yeah. They were staring at me earlier. Yeah, mm-hmm. I got this is my first training cycle with kids. Yeah, and so my recovery time, you know, back back in the day, you know, I would um, I would hit my workouts and I would recover for the rest of the day. Right, just recovery. Everything is recovery. Well, guess what? That's not a thing. What does that mean? That means like laying on the couch. Yeah, like leg off. Like leg, leg off. off. Like comfort. Deal, like pain management. Eating. Take, took a tub every day. Yeah. You know, eating, get my water, and just resting. Like right. physically resting. But now, like so take yesterday. I was up at 5 in the morning, and I went to bed at 10 o'clock. I had my leg on from about 5.30 in the morning till 9.30 p.m. And for guys like me, an amputee, yeah. eight, eight hours in your leg is a long day. You know, yeah. but I'm, I'm on it. I'm doing 12, 14 hours in my leg every day. And kids. that's, and that's what it's been like. And yeah. this isn't a complaint. So what? And like, actually that's what I'm, that what I'm trying to say here is this training, like good. I could, I'm fucking, I'm excited about a challenge. Like this is about as difficult as a training cycle can get because all my external life things huh? are just, you know, they're way more difficult than they've ever been for me. Right. It's like, cool. This is going to make me grow, right? This is going to change me and uh-huh. it's going to be hard as fuck. And I'm going to want to quit training. I'm going to want to scale the workouts. I want to, I'm going to want to want to try to shave reps yep. or lie to my coach about my times. Right. Or I'm going to want, I'm going to have less patience with my kid, the kids, less patience with my wife, just internally. Right. I need to overcome that. You know, and then, uh, oh, by the way, I cook all my food ready. To, like, you still need to cook my food, you know, yeah. it's the hardest training cycle. So these are, these are my fuck. And I'm in like, whereas, whereas I'm sort of like, fuck, can I do this? What if I lose? What if I lose because I'm not recovering? What if I lose because, you know, we're doing podcasts instead of me taking a nap right now. Right. I used to love taking naps in between my training sessions, you know, just reboot the brain and stuff like yeah, that. I so, miss naps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They just kind of go away. They do. At about 30 years old, even when you have time for yeah. a nap, you lay down and you're I'm like, like Oh I man, you know, you know what something. sucks about discipline? When you lay down during the day, you're yeah. like, Oh, I want to take a nap. It's like, Oh, but a disciplined person would, would, would check off a few more boxes right. while they're awake. Yeah, dude, that's where I'm at these days. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you went, so when you do take a nap, you know, you're tired. Right. But so the point of that, so like the point, ow, oh. <laughs> did you smash your dick? Oh, my hamstring is cramping. The fuck <laughs> up, dude. Ow. <laughs> ow. God, I did a lot of leg work today. That looks dude, painful. That's so fucking painful. Ah. <laughs> Oh, and I'm st- I need to move and I'm stuck. <laughs> I can't get and out I'm of just my laughing at chair it. prison. I'm ah, fuck. Ah, oh. ah, oh, shit. Discipline, bud. This is my life. This is it. I got one missing leg <laughs> and one leg that is locked the fuck up right now. Oh, I've had that happen fuck in my me. calf a few times. You know what it is? My coach started making me do these fucking glute bridges. Oh, oh, dude, I can't fucking. Yeah. Stand up. Is that the one where you hump the air from the ground? Yeah. 
Oh. Oh. Hold on. Yeah. You know it hurts when you just start laughing, oh, dude. <laughs> when there's there's nowhere else to go it, except just laughter. I can't relax it. Mm. You're not going to ask me to like stick my fingers in your butt or anything, are you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I heard could help. <laughs> God, this is horrible. Oh. What should I do? Should I try standing on it? Yeah, is it stuck? Like, how is it stuck? Ugh. Or how is it cramping? It's not stuck. It just feels like it. Um, all right, that feels okay. <sighs> what if you stretched it backwards? <sighs> oh, dude, that was weird. I did that to myself. I like, I, I flexed my hamstring. Yeah. And it just locked. That's how my cat, that's how from running lately. Locked. My calf has really? been doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I imagine it's a similar pain because it, Sucks. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm used to this when like you're masturbating, right? Sometimes and in a weird position, yeah. and you're like, we try like, it like this. Like Derek, you need to relax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking the, now is not the time for relaxation. <laughs> Go ah! finish. Yeah. It's discipline. God. Oh man. So actually, like an extended position feels good. Holy shit! And now I'm like sweating profusely. Yeah. You look sexier kind of laid out like we, that. Yeah, did we just record that? That whole, whole thing, that happened. <laughs> God. So I'm, my body, like, point is my body is pushed to the max, you know? Point yeah. taken. Oh, my goodness. It is, oh, my goodness. Oof. What the fuck were we even talking about? Uh, we were talking about discipline. Wrap, wrapping it up. No, I yeah. was telling, I was, I was, I was sharing um, you know, that, I, that I'm in a training cycle because you were That's telling right. me, you, you said like people, you know, um, they get a little scared when they're looking at their goals or something like so. that, but like, okay, so what? Right. I'm scared. Yeah. I'm scared. So the fuck, so what? Right. So what? And that, and, and like, this doesn't mean be mean or disregarding it. This is what I tell myself. So totally. what? like, and like, is being scared going to help me accomplish my goals? No. What's going to help me accomplish my goals? Hitting every workout, hitting them with um, intensity, purpose, and integrity. You know, I actually got... Uh, Which I, means doing all the reps. All the reps and not fucking bullshitting about times, yep. like every single rep. And and actually, so like this, dude, I, you know, I've, I've grown up and uh, gotten a lot smarter. Um, and it's not just about getting every rep for me. Like I want every rep... To, uh, you know, I'm focusing on every rep. It's the cool. It's, it's different. Yeah. yeah, like quality. Seven. And, I and got and seven. I've always, right, I'm good. And I've always been. I've always been good. I, I have integrity. It's just you know, like if I if I have a shit day, I won't tell my coach my time or something like that. You know, but it's just it's just really a, like a focus on 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 every rep. And actually, I got new shoes. And in the, like I got uh, new new Mecons. Oh yeah, and in the, the black tongues, and gold ones. Or just, yeah, they're just but yeah, they're more black than the other ones. But um, in the tongues, you can get words written on it. And I know this is cliche, I know this is stupid, but on, on I got I, I got stay true, written as like stay true, like stay stay the path. Yep. You know, train with integrity, hit every fucking workout, skip nothing. Like those glute bridges, I hate them. I think they're dumb. Yeah. But I did them this morning, and yeah. I didn't just fucking lollygag through them. I squeezed the shit. Yep. Out of those motherfuckers. Apparently. And, oh, good <laughs> Lord. Yeah. It fucking work. I almost wanted to like take my pants off, take a video and send it to my coach. Be like, hey, am I doing these right? Hey. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like if you're going to make me glute, if you're going to make me do glute bridges, I'm going to make you pay for it. <laughs> so he doesn't, I don't think he listens to the podcast, so I might do that. Or just take my pants off, you know? Doing these and right? just a, ni a nice side view of my glute bridges. It's like, hey, am I doing this right? <laughs> You know, <laughs> just stump side where it's just gross and atrophied, yeah. you know, but that's, but you know, I'm, uh, I, I, I'm practicing what I'm preaching here is like, I've, I've had discipline or I, I'm pretty good with discipline, right. but I want to get better. And this, this next 15 weeks is a perfect opportunity for me to get better at a lot of things. That's fucking, it's not, it's, I'm, and I'm. I'm not going to let myself feel overwhelmed or get stressed or, right. you know, blah, 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 because this is an opportunity and there's, and I'm going to have sticking points. I'm There's going to be times where I want to quit. There's going to be times where I'm too tired. There's going to be times when I want to be a lazy dad or a lazy husband right. or a lazy, uh, uh, coworker with you. And I fucking got to overcome all those things. 
Um, and so that's me too. We yeah. talked about re- relatability. And, and so um, if, if you have to lose 50 pounds or if you're trying to gain 30 pounds on your bench press or whatever your fucking goal is, and, and if you're not acting towards it because you're just sort of overwhelmed by the daunting challenge, you have the same problem as I do. Yep. It's the exact same. It's just the details. As long as you're human, that's always going to be a thing. There will never be a fucking time in your life where those issues or there'll, there'll never be a time in your life when everything is good. When right. You, you, when you want to do everything, when you feel good. All right. So relatability, relatability. My problems are your problems, people. It's just how do we fucking handle it? Um, is there anything you want to add about motivation, discipline, the differences between the two? You, uh, you've, you've started working out. I have lately, and you were in the military. Yeah, and I'm actually when, that. I'm I very much resemble that guy uh, who was commenting on that. I got uh, I got blown up and had a really bad uh, spinal cord injury. And so I've struggled with severe neck and back pain that then spawns migraine headaches and stuff like that. Um, and I tried sticking with fitness after I got out of the army, but then just got into a very much like pain management mode where I was just trying to, to not were you, hurt. Were you, were you trying to do the things that you were that you knew about fitness? Were you trying to do the things that you did before the injury? hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. And it fucked me up. Yeah. Cause I was <laughs> like, dude, I can't do this. And then I'd get hard on myself and be like, this yeah. sucks. I mm-hmm. fuck it. And Even like movements or yeah. weights or something like that. Yeah. But it's like, Hey, guess what? Yep. Can't yep, do yep, that. Fucking broken back now. Right. It's like if I, if I, that'd be like me beat myself up because my fucking swim time isn't what it used to be. Exactly. You know, exactly. <laughs> so it's, it's like create, but so that's, but, and, and you know what? It's, um, that's just it, like you don't have to get shot and lose a leg. Right. You don't have to fucking get blown up no. and, and and have fuck up your fuck up your spine yeah. to have issues. Right. You know, like I'm th- I'm only 34 and right. already I slept on my shoulder wrong two weeks ago. <laughs> it <laughs> fucked me up for like 10 days. That's it. All I did was sleep on my shoulder yeah. wrong, and I woke up instantly and I knew I was like, this is gonna take a while. Dude, you know, we, and it didn't, it's not physically no. debilitating. You can work through stuff, but like, you're going to have injuries. Yeah. You're going to, as you get older, you're, you're going to have injuries. And if you try to do the same thing that you did before right. that injury at like the you, same you level, you can't, too. you can't buy something for $20 with five bucks. Right. You got to go, you got to go shop in the fucking $5 area. See, you know, the dollar that's, store. that's where, you know, red vines, not right. Twizzlers. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I but started, that's, but that's a true thing, you know. It's one hundred percent accepting, accepting where you're at. Yeah, accept where you're at, and don't fucking and it and I and it doesn't matter how you got there, right? Like say say you got bad knees because you're fucking a hundred pounds overweight, right? All right, now you know the problems. I you, think it, a lot of it too for me, like as because I'm I'm forty two. Oh shit, I'm forty two. Um, I don't give a fuck what people think, and I think I did when I was younger. And so when I would be in the gym with my 25 pound plates doing bench press or something, because that's what I could do. I'd be like, Oh man, I feel like a pussy. Cause I'm not doing what I used to do, which was mm. way more weight. And, and, and you know, what's funny that like, that's probably common, but guess what? I bench, I can bench 365. that, right. you know, like a year and a half ago or right. like e- even now at about 170 pounds, um, totally natural. I can bench 315, which is good. You would yeah. love to bench 315. Love to guess what? I can't. It ain't no. It ain't shit. There's dudes out there like fucking repping 450. Yeah. Brandon hits fucking 573. <laughs> There's guys, you know, like yeah. dude. So like my 315 isn't even half the world record. Right. So it's just a fun. Like everything is relative. It's Every perspective. when you yeah when you and when you get to that point, it's pretty liberating. When you stop, you should always compare yourself to others. Right. And I you know like I don't buy into this you versus you thing. Like no, life is competition, mm-hmm. and social comparison is a good. Um, um, driving force. It's right. like if you like, how can I know if if we're in a competition? I'm either I either win or I lose. You know, or, mm-hmm. or it's just like there's a healthy way to do it. Is what I'm saying. Like it's right. like like stick to your abilities and capabilities where you're at. Right. Otherwise, you're gonna go ten years and not not do anything. Fucking exercise. Because what what did you do? You tried to do what you did before. Yeah, and it didn't work. I'd and start to get. I'd start to feel better. I'd start to. I'd start to progress, and then I'd hurt myself. Yeah. 
because I'd push too hard. Yeah. Because I was like, oh man, well if I can do this, then mm-hmm. then let me throw another plate on there. Yeah. And then I'd pinch something, and then I'd be three weeks off and not doing anything because I'm laying on my couch. That's what. That's what. Uh, that's that's what. Uh, th- that's what my buddy Rick does here. Yeah. You know, I was seeing him for a week, and he goes hard. But he he was in the he was in the army too. Yep. Medically retired, and like we just have that fucking go hard. Right, and I think it's to our detriment sometimes because yeah. we're like, "Whoa, slow down!" Yeah, because I, you know, and it was, it was, it was a common thing, and now we just know it and accept it. Yep. <laughs> but he, he, he couldn't fix it. You know, it's like show up on Monday, full throttle. Let's go. Uh, okay, we'll be here tomorrow, but we'll see you next Monday. <laughs> yeah, you just fuck yourself up. Yeah, but you've been. Um, how long of a how long of a gap in in actual fitness? I know, like you were farm. You you've done. I was farming. You've for done a while. work. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But that but there's a huge like manual like I understand manual labor is difficult and it burns calories. Yep. But it is not You're what right. we're talking about here. Hundred percent. Yeah. It's, it's People like different. oh you can lift that. Why don't you come here and fucking throw hay? I'm like shut the fuck up, bitch. Right. I was like it's different. Okay. It's different. Like good for you. You throw hay. Get, yeah. You're fucking it, strong it, as fuck. It does not put inches on your dick. Okay. <laughs> and it doesn't, you know, like, right. Oh, so what? Uh, but like, we're, like focused fitness is really different. Totally. Okay. So, so in how long of a gap did you have? So I think I, man, so I've been, I got out in 2013. I retired in 2013. I think through 2013 and 2014, I did some focused fitness and then that kind of fell off. And then we were we were on a farm for a while. And so we were doing, you know, active manual labor type stuff and and just really didn't have time or access to a gym where we were at. And so it it became less of a priority. So I shoot, I've been here in Vegas probably a year since I met you. Um, went to the gym a couple of times, but this last month and a half recently it's like recently. you have goals now that yeah and you you keep telling me like hey i did better on this hey man and I you're fucking, running and i'm running yeah yeah and yeah. I, um and you know are you still uh are, are you changing your uh your eating at all or is I that am. not quite yet or everything right. in phases you know everything like i'm happy phases. right now that you're fucking you're like you're consistent with your running your kids yeah. are working out and stuff like that it's like it's like you're bringing a little bit of discipline back in on that part of your life you're not an undisciplined person no in other areas no. and you're not a lazy person no it's just sometimes we're the we're, we're the last person that it's we the, take care of it's the last priority <laughs> yeah. i'm worried about yeah. doing stuff for other people mm-hmm. and then i'm like wait a second i need this because because yeah. mm-hmm. it it helps me in every other aspect of of my life yeah so it started with just walking every day and then walking every day i think i got into like the second week of like being consistent with it which mm-hmm. was my problem is being consistent with something yeah and i remember coming around the corner i'm like oh shit I'm feeling pretty good today. Mm-hmm. Or, am I going to fucking run? Oh, yeah. Is is this happening? And we, I hit the corner for the long straightaway to get to the park and picked up a jog and felt pretty good. And that's progressed into stitching together longer lengths of running to where now I'm doing, I'm doing about two and a mi- two miles unbroken, you know, every, every day, every other day. Mm-hmm. And then on my rest days, I'll, I'll do a half a mile and then I'll walk the rest of it. But yeah, so just, no pressure, no. Sure, yeah. You know, I'm, but it's like on a schedule now, and I bet and yeah. you, you got four kids. Yeah, we are. We're busy, super we're busy. busy. So I bet you know it's like it'd be easy for you to say, "Oh, I don't have time." Right. But like it, like this is this is what discipline is. Like, because yeah. guess what? You have the time. I do. You just weren't making the time, and no. then it was time for your when it was time when it's time for your walk. Yep. It's discipline because at at it's so like say it's seven in the morning. Right. What else could you be doing? Twenty fucking things. Yeah. But it's the discipline to like nope. This is my time for me. This right. is my time to work on me. Yep. You know, and that's, and that's, and that's what it is. It's like, you know, and it's funny. Maybe, with maybe the, you're sore and things like that. And if you were, if you just said, oh, I don't have the motivation. Right. I don't have the motivation today. It's like, what? Did you forget your goals? Right. No, you know, you, you you're trying for something here. Yeah. Maybe your goal is that you just want to be like healthier by the end of this year. Then you ended last year. Something simple. Yeah. I know you're not a competitive well, athlete. Like I, I've I, not that you don't have a competitive nature, but you right. don't actively compete in sport. That's what. Not that's yet. What, I okay. Think, I think I've got. Uh, I think I've got a 5K kind of coming okay, up. Okay, sure. I, I wanna, are, you, are you trying to win? I'm trying to. I'm trying to complete it. Okay. If okay. I, that, yeah. that'll, that'll be my first sure. one. Yeah. So that's that's what I like. A little bit more casual yeah. than me, but the, the same thing. Discipline, and I and like I've noticed it. 
I think it's cool. And I, you know, it makes you feel better about yourself. Does. Like having that discipline. Yeah. And like a little bit of, I think we're all creatures of routine yeah. and habit. And like when you're, when you're, when you have discipline, you're in control. Right. You know, you're in control. And yeah. that's what we all want to be in fucking control. So these people that say they don't have motivation, they have the motivation. They just, they're, they don't have the discipline. Right. It's somewhere inside of them. Yeah. Cause I, you know, I would never, if somebody says, Hey, I was in the military, but now I'm overweight and I don't have motivation, I would never say to them, you don't have discipline inside of you because right. they're a fucking, we all have an inner strength. Yeah. We also also have a really fucking weak person That's inside right. of and us. And sometimes that motherfucker is loud. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like, you know, it's just a nagging kid asking for a candy bar. You can't give him a candy bar all the time. It's like, shut the fuck up, kid. You know, yep. and then you got to kick him in the face and get stared at by strangers. <laughs> but it is what it is. We don't care what other people think of Mind us. Mind your business, Karen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no shit. But that's, but that's, but that's, it's, it's, it's discipline. It's discipline. And everybody has it within them. But it's a choice, and it gets easier if you make that choice over and over and yeah. over again. And and it's just and and um, that's a, um, that's true because the last the last two weeks it has not even been an issue. Like there's been there's it's been so easy yeah to go run. And actually, this is a big point that I want to make okay. today. But before we get to that, hey guys, wanted to take a minute and let you know that today's episode of Savage Saturdays here on the Drinking Bros Podcast is sponsored by. Raycon. Everyone needs a great pair of wireless earbuds, but before you go dropping hundreds of dollars on a pair, you need to check out the wireless earbuds from Raycon. Now, a lot of you who have been tuning into the main Drinking Bros podcast have already heard about Raycon earbuds, and you already know they start about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market, and that they sound just as amazing as other top audio brands you know. If this is your first time hearing about Raycon, their newest model, the Everyday E25 earbuds are their best ones yet, with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice, noise-isolating fit. When I say compact, I mean compact. I started using the Raycon E25 earbuds a few months ago, and I was skeptical. I have really odd-shaped ears. Earbuds have always been very hit or miss with me as to whether or not they would stay in. I absolutely hate having to adjust earbuds during a workout. I've made my situation worse by adding inch gauges to my already odd-shaped ears in a feeble attempt to look cool. The E25s worked flawlessly. I've used them while pumping out calories on a skier during burpees, and I took them for a test. 20 unbroken bar muscle-ups. That's a lot of whipping around, and I had no issues with the earbuds falling out of place. Unlike some other wireless option, Raycon earbuds are both stylish and discreet with no dangling wires or stems. Now's the time to get the latest and greatest from Raycon. Get 15% off your order at buyraycon.com slash Saturdays. That's buyraycon.com slash saturdays thank you now back to the show and we're back and you know what i i need to go and i'm going to use um our discount code i I need a new pair of raycon earbuds because you know who fucking stole mine i can only guess stacy yep stacy is now the proud owner of my recon earbuds she used she, uh, she needed earbuds yesterday for her workout and uh, she asked to use mine, and I was like, "Gross," you know. It's like, like, <laughs> what? Some things I don't yeah, share, right? We're like, you know, yeah, like, yeah. And that's a weird thing about humans. Like, we're husband and wife. All the things we do together. But I think it's weird that she wants to put my earbuds in her ear holes, you yeah. know. But anyways, um, she used them for a workout yesterday, and she's like, "Oh wow, these are small." And I was like, "Yeah," well, but she tried them. And she's like, "Wow, they fit." really nice and i was huh? like yeah do some burpees do like move around guess what they don't fucking fall out she likes she likes the fucking sound quality she likes how they look actually it's kind of nice that she took mine because i wanted another color but she doesn't like me just unjustifiably spending right. money right on things because i wanted a different color yeah but now i was like hey you keep hey, those those are for you those. don't you worry about those. me yeah and she was and she was um a little bit blown away like on this on the on the earbud itself you can press play and press pause and things like that. And she's like, where it actually took me like way too long to show her where the button was. I mean, the earbud is only this fucking big and there's only one spot for a button. Yeah. I was like, just, just, just uh, press anywhere on the fucking earbud. You'll find it. Yeah. Hit the side of your face. The thing that goes clicky. Yeah. That's, that's that's the, yeah. So, so, um, um, but that's nice because we also like, so now those are, uh, also Stacy approved. And uh, and I get a new color uh, uh, Raycon earbuds. Right on. So yeah, check those out. We like them here in the White House. Back to the show. Back to the show. 
it was interesting what you were talking about, how you just started. Yep. And it was difficult, 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 but it and gets there, easier. And then there was and a this, point. And there was, I was, I had this fucking, um, I had this conversation with a guy yesterday and I just, you know, I get the same, and it was, and it was about this. He was talking about motivation. I was like, I, you know, I used to be this, I want to be this, but I just don't have motivation. I don't like, I'm, I always have to find, I have to check myself and not unload on a person. So you suck it the fuck up. Right. You know, suck it. Cause it's not, it's not a, it's the, it's, it's, it's a truth. It's mm-hmm. a true answer. When people are saying things like that, it's like, sh- suck it the fuck up. You think my, you think fucking, come on, come on, just suck it the fuck up. We all have fucking problems. Get on with it. Harden up, you know, right. like, whereas that's true, not a good answer. Right. Sometimes. So like people are worth, like they deserve more than that, you right. know? So it's like, Take a breath, Derek. Have some patience. Have some empathy. Have some compassion. All right, now how do we answer this question? And so, like, I said something yesterday that I'd never thought about before, but it was a pretty cool analogy. And, you know, it's like, so you have no, like, so, you know, you have no discipline. You have no work ethic. You, uh, you lost your drive. It's in there somewhere. Um, and uh, you're, not, you're not working towards your motivation. You're not working towards your goal. You're just, you're starting at zero. Um. I thought of I thought of this cool analogy yesterday. I was like, "Hey, man, sometimes you got to push start your lawnmower. Yeah. You just got to push start that motherfucker." You know? Yep. I remember as a kid, like fucking rip, rip, nothing. Ah, you give her a couple steps and rip. You know? Yep. And she starts up. Sometimes you got to. So I liked that analogy. Yeah. For just getting, just get it moving, just get it moving. And I told them this, and this isn't a, uh, and I didn't, I didn't intend on on. I I went into this answer with no fucking idea where I was going, you know, but I was, and I was just like, Hey man, sometimes you got to push start your mower. All right. Like just like, I was like, here's an idea. And I don't mean to make it sound like I'm just trying to sell you my shit here. Right. But I was like, here's an idea. And I think it's a good idea. It's like, what if you go to DerekWhited.com? That's my website. You get the training program, the at home 12 week training program where all you need is your body weight kettlebell dumbbell. And I, and I suggested that because it's, 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 it's a good place to start. Right. It's, it's not super technical, yep. you know, su- really good fitness, yep. but anybody can do it. Anybody can do these workouts, right? They're difficult, but they're, you know, sort of, uh, they're personalized in what weights you choose and things. All our programs are like that. You know, like yep. my mom, my mom, my sister, and Stacy are all doing the same program. They're doing wide RX, but this, but this one is, it's easier. Okay. For someone to just start. Yeah. If they're at fucking a zero starting point, this is a, I was just like, so go get this program and guess what? And it, this was in the wider group. So there's a discount code in the wider group. Yep. We also have a discount code for Sab- people Saturday who listen listeners. to our podcast. Yeah. And that code is Saturday, you know, so Saturday will get you 20% off all training programs on DerekWhite.com. Yep. So I told this guy, I was like, hey man, here's my idea. Go to DerekWhite.com. Get this training program. Use this code. The program's like 16 fucking dollars. Right. All right. It's fucked $16. So it's not like I'm going to go buy a new fucking Mercedes with this sale here, nope. you know, but I think this is a good plan. Sometimes you got to push start your mower. Go get a fucking program. And start. Because you need a program. You need, you need a plan or you don't need, it makes it so much easier. You don't have a to plan. put as you don't have to put as much thought or effort. You just show out. up. You just you, show you, up you, and like, like this oh, is what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, well, we got you covered on that. Like, yep. we we made you a plan. And guess what? It's a really fucking good plan. It's a like this plan is going to like in, over the course of twelve weeks, you're going to improve so much if you just show up every day. And so that's what I told him. I was like, you know, get this program and then just do the workout. Yeah, every day, yep. no matter how you feel, yep. and don't worry about how you do. Right. You know, and maybe maybe a twenty minute workout takes you thirty five minutes. So, yep. Guess what? You haven't been doing shit for the last fucking four years, right? So, literally anything at this point is it's better. Exactly. You know, so there's no pressure. There's no performance. Nope. And then, and then I was like, and then th- like this is how it works, man. It just sort of gets easier, right? Or, or like you let your all of a sudden your momentum become it starts turning things on again yeah it turns on your drive yeah it's like oh shit i actually like you know fucking four weeks ago i couldn't even get out of bed to go get my workout in now i'm stressed out so like they were stressed out from that but now they're stressed out because 
not only like they want to do better right in their workout so yeah. like the point there is you're always gonna have stress right you're always gonna have problems it's just gonna be different but you can have good problems or fucking shitty problems and wanting like being there at your workout and wanting to do better is a better problem and, and stressor to have than st- laying in your bed, staring at the ceiling, wondering why you're so fucking awful and that you can't even get up and go work out. Like, don't sit there and think about, like, what is the point of that? You just sit there and you think about why you're not able to go work out when you could literally be... Working out right there. Working out uh, right there. Yeah. (laughs) You know? So, but like, and I'm not, and I'm not being mean. Right. Because like, I, like, we're stupid like that. Yeah. I do dumb shit like that all the time. Yeah. You know, there is actually, um, you know, I was working on something last week and I couldn't focus and then I was getting mad at myself cause I couldn't focus and oh, that yeah. was making me focus less or actually I was focusing on the fact that I couldn't focus. Yeah. Fuck. We yeah. are dumb. It's a downward and, and spiral I, and I, and right and there. It's like, and, I, and I'm pretty well trained in this. Uh-huh. I, I have, I have good control. So when I'm out of control or like, but I can get out of control too. Yeah. And like, this is, I'm seriously like always on high guard for my shit, but I fuck up. And I'm just like, and, but it was, I didn't get mad at myself because right. I was just like, we are so fucking dumb. I'm so human like, right now. <laughs> yeah. So fucking human, bro. I'm fucking so, f- yeah. It's like, Derek, do you want to do this today? It's like, no, nah, man, I'm like super human today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just feeling really fucking human today. What is really it? Really human. And like, now we'll know what that means. Yeah. So actually we're, we're learning a lot on this. We have one hand and arm signal mm-hmm. and <laughs> we have... <laughs> 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 And a new term for when I don't want to work. That's right. Yeah. So perfect. Yeah. But um, so that was, uh, and, and and you said, you know, uh, a couple of weeks ago, you didn't even, you probably, I bet you thought you didn't even have time to go for a walk or go no, for a run. I, or it, 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 it was a complete restructure of my morning because my morning mm-hmm. revolves around making sure kids get fed, mm-hmm. diapers yeah. get changed and things like that. I just started waking up earlier. And, mm-hmm. and started going, yeah. and then and then my kids actually adapted pretty well, and they just kind of watch TV till I'm done with the workout, yeah. And then and then we move on. But do you remember what, a couple weeks ago I came over and I was talking about my breathing? I was like, dude, I feel like I leveled up because I had been pushing myself and trying to run further and further and further. And I hit a point like two weeks ago where, at the end of the two miles, like. I did not feel as taxed. My yeah. lungs felt better, and I was, it was huge for me because well, that's like, you know like you're yeah, but that's, like I unlocked that, that's how, a goal. But you have to show up every day, yeah, and like and then and then once those things things start coming together, yeah, that's like you got to push start your mower, man. Like you push start your mower, and then like cool things just fucking happen. So right. that's, and that's why I told this guy, I was like, hey, dude, get this program. 12 weeks and just show up every day. I don't right. fucking care how you do. Doesn't matter. Just, just show up every day, and once and you're putting new stressors on your body and yeah. your body it's going to take some time but it's going to change and adapt and, and eventually things it, are going to start likes clicking. it and then and then what what people think is motivation then you start feeling that thing but it's yeah. just a good feeling it's just it's just drive right it's just it's just like you're bringing out the competition right in you you know right. like for yourself or you just want to do better and you're having you're like fuck there's like for a while you were like you, or not you but like for a while you just sit there and you know, you're beating yourself up, but then it becomes this, you like obsess about wanting to do better. Totally. I want to do better. I have it within me. If someone else can do it, why can't I? So I want to put in the work. That's so funny. When I see other fat 42 year old dads out there running at the same time that I'm running and they're running, I'm like, okay, cool. Or if I'm walking that day, I'm like, it's all right. I'm going to be running tomorrow. Like you're putting in work. I, if, if you're putting in work, then I can put in the work too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It fucking motivates me. And that, so it's like, so back to re, right now, my training cycle. Yeah. And we talk about like member we had Brandon last week and he was talking about big dogs. Yeah. The pressure, like, you know, he Jeez. was, he was going up against guys who don't cut corners. Right. You know, but, um, uh, no corners, no corners. Cause they're <laughs> already the best in the world. Right. There's room for cutting corners in my competitions, you know, but it's, but I, but I, but I've always, I fucking love that in the army. Like, but I don't cut corners in training. Right. It's like, because in the army, when you're training, you're training to fucking kill and not be killed. Right. You know, there's no better fucking uh-uh. focus, something like that. But it's, but it's, but it's, yeah, it's that, it's that same thing. And if, if I have a moment of weakness, it's like, oh, that's when discipline comes in. It was like, I, I mean, I'll skip this workout. Maybe I'll do, yep. you know, instead of, you know, if, if, if the notes in my training program say this workout, you have to go a hundred percent, but maybe, 
but I have to understand that my hundred percent today might be 60%. And maybe my coach knows that. Right. He's like, he's and maybe he breaks me down for a few days and right. then says, go hard. You know, it's all this fucking, it's mental mind games, mm-hmm. dude. But like you just work on your discipline and then like, yeah, exactly. Like you said, it's like, Hey, these guys can do it. Right. And like, but for me, my, 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 my version of that right now is like, is Marcus, is he cutting corners? Is he cutting corners? I can't. I can't bank on that. No. If I'm willing to determine, if I'm willing to gamble my victory or not on whether Marcus is 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 has integrity and discipline, that's not. No, I need more control than that. So right. guess what? Do everything right. Yep. If he can do it, I can do it, and 100%. it's just fun. It's yeah. just and it's just fun to do better. And I and, and so like you're you're actually living proof of something that I just fucking. Or we just we just know that's we know it's true. It is and like so just push start. Sometimes you gotta push start your motor. Start I like that. I fucking yeah. came up with that on the spot. I was like, man, that's fucking that's not bad. It makes that's a sense. Good analogy. Sometimes you gotta push start your fucking lawnmower, man. Just like so so and if, if that applies to you, if you're at fucking day zero, you have no fucking you have no plan at all with your nutrition, your training, nothing. You know, get a program. Get uh, nerd, get this, get this program. Go to DerekWhite.com, get the twelve week at home training program yep. where all you need is your body weight, a kettlebell, and some dumbbells. If you don't have kettlebells and dumbbells, instead of a kettle, if you can't find a kettlebell, they're hard to find right now, right? But uh, like get a gallon of water, yep, or a you know a two gallon jug of water, and yep. and you know keep water in it, right? Or fill it with sand or laundry ter- detergent bottles. It has a handle. It's an odd oh, object. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yep. laundry got detergent. A bigger it's, handle. A, it's a little heavier. Yeah, and then dumbbells. You know, fucking. 50 ounce water bottles, fill them with sand. Yep. Are you going to get like fucking super fucking jacked? No, but you're going to move your body and you're going right. to turn it on. And like you, after two weeks of running, yep. Oh, your legs or your fucking, your lungs are online. Right. Okay. Breathing is better. That's not an issue. Okay. Now what's my issue? Right. And pretty soon you're going to be like fine tuning things. Like, cause you're, and you, you, I've heard you talk about your foot strike yeah. and stuff like that. But first you have to get those lungs online, your low back in yep. order, yep. and then you can start focusing on the details. Yeah. And that's when you start to get good. And this is how I fucking started with fitness. Yeah. So when I was 17 years old, I was a fucking fat, chubby, lazy ass piece of shit zero discipline right zero and there was uh the where i started training you know i started running before i started lifting weights i didn't yeah. i didn't have a, a a background in uh in lifting weights or anything so i started running because obviously that's just a good place to start right you know <laughs> it requires not yeah. very much stuff <laughs> yeah and when people do our training programs we're like Derek, what should i do if i don't have a rower and i'm just looking down at, i was like run Anyways, so I started running and there was a lake, uh, Lake Phelan. It was 3.25 miles. So almost a perfect 5k right, right by where I lived, you know? Um, that's the, that's the cool thing about Minnesota is there's so many lakes, but yeah. this one Lake Phelan was, was 3.2 miles. And so I just started running and, and I, and my first goal was to run it without stopping. Yep. And that, it took me a while, yep. you know, and been like, so that, but, and what like, I'm doing. and there was just like so much pressure out there at Lake Phelan, dude, because mm-hmm. my high school was a half mile away everybody that went to that school lived around there people drive and it's and it's common for people to so they're fucking you're being seen you never know yeah so if you're all keeled over with a side egg (laughs) (laughs) snot and drool dripping down and all shit like that you know so it's (laughs) tough dude look at chubby Derek out there sucking Mm -hmm. yeah yeah right yeah (laughs) yeah so uh but you know you got to fucking start there and then things started clicking and you know it was funny. I, I didn't go to I didn't go to school much. Um, and last people saw me, I was just like lazy, chubby piece of shit with like just didn't care, right? Zero discipline. And then I show up, and I'm like, you know, getting in better, better shape, caring about. I'm bringing my own food, right, to school. People are like, what the fuck are you doing? And I was like eating chicken and rice and protein bars and stuff. They're like, what are you doing? Sitting in class, I was like, I gotta eat. <laughs> my time to eat you know eat time yeah like why do you care about that i'm like why do i care about what i put in my body well i like understandable because we just right. lived off of fucking little debbies and fruitopias and That's shit right. like that it's like well i'm trying to do better right i'm trying to do better so actually like i should probably give a shit about what i put in my body yep you know but that was my first goal is just getting getting lungs online yep. and your body comes online and so my first goal was to run around the lake without having to stop right you know i was like okay it took me fucking 27 minutes pretty fucking shitty then my goal became like less than 24 minutes less than 22 minutes right and then i try to do it in less than 18 minutes and that right. was tough 
I don't know if I ever, I can't remember if I accomplished that or not, but I know I was, I could do, I could do three. Well, no, actually like, yeah, no, I could do three sub six minute miles. I couldn't do three sub five minute miles. I did fast. I did a 5k where I, my first mile was, it was like 447. Then I hit a 452, Yeah, but I fell off a little bit. And I, so I was leading this race and, uh, that I, I ended up taking third. It wasn't, I just showed up. It was right. like a fucking breast cancer walk or something. Right. And, uh, um, everybody was going to walk and I was like, Hey, do you guys mind if I just like run? I'm gonna try I don't know. Minute. I guess I'll run. And then, I, and then I was like, well, if I'm fucking run, I'm fucking run. <laughs> I took off, man, you know? And I was, and I was actually, I, I, I was, I was going and they, they had the timer at the first mile. I was like, 447. What the fuck? Oh, I don't know if I can hold this shit. Fuck. And then one person passed me. I was like, God damn it, Derek. <laughs> hold on, buddy. You know, the, another person passed me. I was like, shit. I'm yeah. not hitting fours yeah. anymore. And I fucking, you know, I, so but I just, I didn't give a shit. And there were like real runners there and stuff like right. that. But I was just this dude who had been running. And then put my name in the paper and stuff. And my fucking aunt and uncle were like, Derek, what the fuck? What, you you out there like, winning what races? What the fuck is that? I was like, yeah. oh, yeah. I just like I just decided to run. I showed up to walk you right. know, and with my family and stuff. <laughs> I was like, hey, you guys mind if I just go for a run? I haven't got my run in yet today. You know, but that it's cool. And it gets like that. But yeah. you got to have the discipline to start. Yep. It's not about motivation. It's not about it's not or it's not about the feeling. You had motivation. You just want to do better. Right. Just want to be a little bit healthier. Right. It's your motivation, you know? So start adding the discipline. Start adding the discipline. Um, where are we at? We're at an hour 15. Oh, so we're good. Yeah. Let's just, uh, we'll leave the parents alone yeah. for this week. We'll leave the parents alone this week. But we're coming back. We're going to talk to you parents later. Yeah. We'll, we'll never, yeah, we'll never be done talking about this motivation and no. discipline. It's, but it's, it's, it, you know, as, as easy as we make it sound, it's difficult. But it's, it's totally like, difficult. But so just accept the fact that you're not going to be good at it for a while. Right. And you're, and you're going to, it's going to be humbling. Yep. It's going to be humbling because guess what? Your first run, you suck. Oh, dude. My and run like, times yeah, are not what they but, used to be. But it's like, but it's like me when I come back from powerlifting and I get into CrossFit. Yeah, my, you're sucking my too. My friend time is like seven thirty, and and what do I do about it? like? Oh, that is not good. <laughs> That's not good. But we're gonna get there. We're like, gonna work I, haven't on done, that I haven't done the work yet, and I and I know I'm about to start. Uh, yeah. You know, I just come back from a different goal. It's like, ugh, ugh, ugh. I look pretty bad with my shirt off, yep. and my times are pretty poor. But guess what? Fluffy. Like, I'm gonna get there because I fucking because I know. Or at at this point, I just and and that's this you know and anybody can get here. You live with discipline long enough. It's just. It just becomes a thing. Mm -hmm. It's your second nature. And then and then no goal um seems unattainable. Right. Like like, you know, whereas I'm not I'm not like an overconfident person, but I I truly believe I can do anything I want. Right. W you know, within reason. Right. I there's but if 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 I can, I can. Right. Whether I do or not, or whether I want to or choose to, right. it's a choice. But I that there's nothing that I can't do. Because I'm, I just know, I was like, okay, I want, when I, when I decide I want to do this, I'll make a plan. Yep. I'll follow the plan. I'll make smart adjustments along the way. Right. And that's it. Like I, that's the recipe. And then that's you it. fucking accomplish it. That's it. And like, it's hard, it's hard in there to follow, but it's like, I have, uh, but I, but I know all I got to do is have the discipline yep. to make a plan, have the discipline to follow it, have the patience and flexibility to make smart changes not quit right along the way learn that lesson quit in prc we said quitting i didn't enjoy that i don't want to do it again right because who knows if you'll ever, ever get another opportunity to do something again you know yeah so yeah it's uh it, it it you just you just start and then after a few years you you know start so if so i just i'll say that again i'll give the advice i gave that guy yesterday you know sometimes you got to push start your mower and if you are, are lost in the shit if, if you have no plan, if you have, if you have no plan, but you have this desire, if you have a motivation to be healthier and more fit, but you don't have a plan, start by getting one of our programs yep. or a workout. I'll even say a workout program. I'm just, I just, I know that ours are good. I, I know they're good. Right. We and put a lot of time and effort into them. And the, the barrier of entry is very low. Yeah. They're not expensive no. stuff. Yeah. So like for you guys on DerekWhite.com. The code is Saturday. You put that in at checkout. Yep, and it's and it's for training programs, not for shirts. Nope. Shirts are already so fucking cheap. There's no wiggle room. Not a much room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not, not but, making much money. The, the code on DerekWhite.com. Code Saturday. 
We'll get you 20% off all training programs. And and this program we're talking about here, the at-home 12-week um, training program where all you need is your body weight, kettlebell, and dumbbell. I think that brings the price down to $16. Yep. And guess what? If you're not happy with your purchase, shoot us an email. Email us and we'll give you your money back. We yep. don't, we're not, you know, you literally have nothing to lose, but you have a, have a shit ton to gain. If you have, if you have no plan or direction in your, um, you know, for your desire to become healthier, more fit, go to DerekWeta.com, get this 12 week training program, or if another one looks good to you, go for that. But we're just saying this is a, this is a good one to start at. Yep. Super good one to start with. And just don't, don't worry about supplements. Don't worry about nutrition. I mean, you know, Let's, we'll like start with one thing at a time. Let's yeah. start working. You should always care, but we'll start working at one thing at a time. Start working out and then you're going to start drinking more water right. and then you're going to like, and you won't drink soda yeah, anymore. Don't do something like go keto, but just start working out. Like, like <laughs> people say you can't out train a bad diet, but you can out train of, you know, you, you can, you can get some work done. You can, we're not, we're not, we, we're not trying to turn you guys into elite athletes here. But um, you know, get 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 the program and just show up every day, just just show up every day. And there's built-in rest days. Yep. But every, every day you have a workout, do that workout to the best of your ability that day. And sometimes you're a hundred percent that day is more like a sixty percent of a good day. All right? right, that's fine. We don't care. But just start following the program, and that's that's push start in your lawnmower. You know, that's how you get it going. And then like, you're just like, things are going to click and they're going to turn on in your body. And like, I, I promise you, this is just like 9.9 out of 10 times. This is how it goes. So that's, that's, that's my advice for those of you who are just, um, you know, kind of sitting around, not tackling this issue of wanting to be better, wanting to be healthy and, um, doing, uh, nothing about it. There's your place to start. That's it. That's it. That's what we got. That's that's uh, that's that's our offering to the world today. And uh, oh, good lord! I need to go drink some pre-workout. Get workout number two. I going. Go practice what I preach. Yeah. I'd, oh man, I'm a little tired. I did good in my workout this morning, but it, it's it definitely sapped me. Um, so since I'm sapped, I'm gonna go turn on a slapper, and that's it for this uh, week's episode of Savage Saturdays. Thanks as always for tuning in. We hope you enjoy the show. We love you. We'll catch you next time.